Hello, fellow Homo sapiens. I'm David Seymour, and this is Lifers. Uh, today we're here in the Michaud Forest for season two, episode one. And uh, I can't wait to see what we can find today. Uh, it's pretty warm. It was a lot warmer yesterday. Uh, I'm still on the chilly side. And uh, it's about mid-March. And I'm hoping we can find something cool today. Hopefully an owl or maybe a, a rattlesnake. Uh, if you're new to the show, basically what I do is I search the world for different species of anything to check off our list. Um, nothing is scripted. Uh, everything that you see is in real time when I find it. So uh, let's get started. I see some very tiny insects, but I don't even think my macro lens would be able to get those. So we're gonna have to figure something else out for those in other episodes. I'm hoping a microscope soon. You have to get really lucky with owls. It's a good thing to do a very, very thorough search. You wanna search every single branch. Every single branch you see, you wanna check. Here are a few ants. Let's try to get some of these guys. They're, they're large enough to where I think I could get a decent image of it. If you would sit still. There he is. Hopefully we'll find out where he is and Get a solid idea of them. If you notice, there's also a springtail right there. Very tiny. These guys are usually even harder to identify, especially the species. But that's part of the challenge of our show though. That's why I'm debating on whether or not I want to count genus or just wait to add this once we figure it out to species level. All right. All right, here's a plant right here. Um, in case you guys don't know, I, I do everything. All animals, plants, fungi, protists, anything that we find on the show is fair game. So hopefully we'll figure out what that is and we'll keep moving. All right, so while we're searching, while we are searching, I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think would make this show better? And what would you like to see? What would you like to not see on the show? I want this to be uh, an interactive experience for all of us. So if there's something I'm doing that's annoying or if there's something you think I could add to the show, uh, let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys, I found an isopod. Now, I'm fairly certain that this is not native, but maybe it is. This is some kind of sow bug or sow bug. There he is. Isopod. They're crustaceans. They're not insects. They're mallow crustaceans. Very cool. And I really hope he's native. But if he's not, he's still cool. 
Just can't just can't add them to the list yet. Maybe we'll find him uh, in his native homeland in future episodes. If he's not. All right, I'm gonna leave him be and keep looking. Let's go. Do you hear that ha-ha sound? That is a white-breasted nuthatch. And we already found him. I can't remember what episode. There he goes. I'm gonna leave him be. Let's keep going. So I just flipped another log and I found some termites. Get a little sample of these guys. There they are. Termites. And I'm guessing these are workers. That looks like a warrior. Or a soldier termite. Very cool. All right, we found a couple of things at this location, but I think I want to try and get closer to the water to see if we can find an upland chorus frog or something like that. All right, guys, uh, before we move on to another location, uh, I just want to mention that I have a store now. I sell a lot of different uh, designs on t-shirts and uh, hoodies and long sleeve shirts and stuff like that. Uh, I have a really good artist, his name's Juan, and uh, I love his work and him and I are collaborating together to try and raise some revenue so we can travel to more remote places than where we are right now. So uh, if you guys are interested and you wanna help us out, um, visit our website, visit my website and see if uh, you're interested in anything. All right, thank you. All right guys, I just came up on a vernal pool right here. I'm uh, hoping there's a lot of frogs still in here. They all got quiet. Just before I turned a GoPro on, they were pretty loud. So we're gonna sit here and wait a little bit. I, see, I hear a bird over there that I've never heard before. I see a duck. I see a white duck. Awesome. What a beautiful bird. Let's try and get a little bit closer. We've already got him. But I just want to get a good shot of him for our list. So we're going to try it a little bit slower. Right here. That's as far as we go. I just spooked them. There they go. Sorry about that, guys. But we did get them. Maybe if we're really quiet and we sit here, we might be able to see more. I think that's our first duck, is it not? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's our first duck. I see a lot of movement in here. Actually, there's a frog right there. I think that's a wood frog. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a wood frog. Beautiful. And there's a red spotted newt right next to it.
Now I need to find the other frogs that live here. There's the eastern gray tree frog, the upland chorus frog, the mountain chorus frog, the spring peeper. I still need to find those guys. All right guys, uh, my philosophy of the day is I want to talk a little bit about poaching. Um, poaching is more than just killing an elephant or a rhino for its ivory. It's also ripping a wildflower out of the ground that's native. Um, it's taking a turtle from a state park that is uh, prohibited in your state. Uh, it's killing animals out of season. It's hunt hunting, uh, it's keeping a fish that's too small to keep or not throwing back a small, a crab that's too small to keep. So, that's my basic philosophy of the day is make sure you're not poaching yourself when you're out in, in the wild. You might be doing something that you don't recognize as poaching, but it is. So that's my philosophy of the day. Let's go. There's a lot of spotted turtles in here. Look, there's another one coming up. He's coming. Getting up on that log. Trying to bask. They're a very cold tolerant turtle. It's not even 60 degrees in Fahrenheit and they're out basking. Quite a few of them. They don't care that I'm here anymore. There's one here that's been watching me for almost an hour now. Just chilling. What I'm trying to get before we move on is a, uh, I think there's a rusty blackbird or a brewer's blackbird. I saw him poking around in here. I just wanted to try and get a good image of him before we head on. Leave these turtles alone. I was thinking about picking one up and showing it to you, but I don't really need to. I'd rather leave them alone if I can. All right, I know I said I wouldn't catch one, but I kind of want to show you guys up close and personal what a spotted turtle looks like. I'm going to try and catch him. I'm going to try to. Let's try to catch him.
Okay. So here he is. Spotted turtle. They're uh, not very large. This looks like a male. He has a convex plastron. Um, he is not happy to be picked up. I'm gonna let him back down. I just wanna give you a closer look at him. Okay, I'm gonna let him go. All right, there he goes. All right, boy, get on out of here. Go ahead. All right. Guys, I think that's a brewer's blackbird. Right there. What do you guys think? Brewer's blackbird or rusty blackbird? I know it's one of them. Yes. It's been a long... It, I don't think I've ever seen one of these before, actually. Beautiful. It was worth the wait. All it takes is patience, guys. Patience. Awesome. It's a life for, for all of us. This is awesome. I love, love, love finding new birds, new species. That was really cool. All right, now I can move on. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. I thought we got pretty lucky. We found all those uh, revisited species like the wood frog and the spotted turtle. And uh, we found that Brewer's blackbird and the uh, the wood the uh, wood duck. And uh, yeah, every season we're gonna do 40 episodes for now. Um, so see you next episode. What's on your list? <laughs> Thank you.